come one, come all, back into Valerie's car, also known as her second bedroom and third office. I really love being in my car and very frequently I come live to you from one of the car, well, one or two car park spots, either, whoops, let me just switch back the light on, the car park from my gym or the car park from my secret weekend hideout secret weekend hideaway. I'm not telling you where that is. I absolutely love this place. Usually I'm here on a Sunday <clears throat> because um, it's, I hardly see anybody that I know. So I do like my privacy. And also there is a shop that is like an Alice in Wonderland for me. It's like the best variety shop in Sydney, I think. And without a fail, I'll go in and find something that I probably don't always need but good grief it just scratches that um, that kind of quirky spot in me um, work hard play hard rest harder I was uh, very very encouraged and flattered to have um, a, a friend of mine the lovely Gerda Muller who uh, referenced what I said and did her own live video as she was playing hard and um, I had a little giggle to myself because that phrase actually has come at this point in time because um, my household is going through what I call an uphill period. Um, we always go through an uphill period this at this time of the year. Uh, the kids um, have so much work on their plate. Assessments are piling up. As a family, don't we don't ease off on life because um, work ramps up. You know, I have a philosophy that you you don't you never take a holiday from life. And I do want the the kids to actually embrace the idea that you do work hard. But when you work hard, you've got to play hard as well. And you've got to rest hard. And so that phrase actually came about because um, in the last probably two weeks as I've watched my kids go through their various ways of coping and I wanted them to have those three ingredients top of mind. Um, this is not the time to procrastinate and avoid and just play hard <laughs> because sometimes that's a way of avoidance or rest without balancing your work because that's going to just come up and wash over you right so these three elements was what i actually said to them i said this is the time it's an uphill period where we're gonna have to work hard but i also want you to play hard right don't give up and quite a lot of times i actually find that kids hey Gerda, thanks for your live um I was so encouraged to see you playing hard and I really liked your top by the way and I want to come to where you are and go for a swim. <laughs> Um, what I was saying was I noticed that sometimes kids uh, during the HSE periods of senior high school can drop off the play and that makes me feel very very sad because play is such an essential part of our life um, we want to be be resting from both those domains the work hard and the play hard because that gives us perspective that life isn't just serious isn't just about achievements and accomplishments it does also come from having joy and pleasure and delight so work hard play hard and the third thing is when you fall into bed or when you are resting up uh, rest hard as well um, knowing that uh, you've you've had something full you've embraced life to the fullest and one of the things Gerda was talking about today is and we don't want to get stuck as to when and how we do that I fully agree um, so the same thing, you know, the kids this weekend, um, we have had a change in our plan this weekend. So I know that uh, at least for one of my kids who um, is fairly perfectionistic, I knew that this change when when we when my husband and I talked about it this morning, I knew that this change was going to cause some stress in in their world. And I really sat with that and thought, what do I do about this? <clears throat> and decided that this was a perfect opportunity for that particular child to actually dig deep into that work hard, play hard, and then rest harder. And so straight after the conversation, early in the morning, I've got two kids. One um, <clears throat> is, it does get particularly stressed by um, schedules changing and another one probably would love to have our schedules change more often because they feel imprisoned by you know by all of us and went up and said look this is going to come up today there's going to be a change in the day and I know that you have probably planned out your weekend because you've got a couple of things due next week 
and I said, and, and true enough, I could see the, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, right? And so this is, for me, what I call the skateboard way. You skateboard, you make micro adjustments. And I said to this particular child, how can you micro adjust your day so that you still work hard, you still play hard, and you still rest hard because those three things need to feature. You're not gonna work your whole weekend, are you? That's unrealistic. And as we talked, um, I basically said, make sure that those three elements are in your weekend, however you want to do it. Micro adjust now that you know that there's been a change in the weekend uh, structure. And this child took a deep breath and true to their nature, thought about the different blocks in our weekend and shifted things. And, you know, she would normally go to church, for example, um, at a particular time and decided that, you know, they would change their time. And so uh, my husband and I left to do the shopping and the last uh, vision of this child of mine was them sitting uh, rewriting their weekend plan, right? With flexibility and adaptability. So work hard, definitely, because that gives us a sense of achievement, gives us a sense of purpose. Um, it gives us a sense of why we do the things that we do. Uh, play hard because that opens up the creativity channel for us, which is so important and so necessary. From creativity comes resourcefulness, comes curiosity, comes gratitude, comes joy, comes pleasure, all of those positive emotions. And rest harder because you've had a full life in those two domains. Hey, Jill. Victoria. How's Victoria going? Need to talk to you about Enyo. Jill is my Enyo lady. There's another story there of a beautiful networking relationship that started, Jill, how long? 14, 15 years ago. And you are still my favorite Enyo person. Love the Enyo. All right, I am now going to go into my Alice in Wonderland variety store. And I anticipate that I will walk out of there with a bunch of things that I may not need, but I may just enjoy. See you later.